Yeah, it is time for me to bring you guys a 2020 NBA mock draft. So here it is, the official mock draft for me and my personality about the draft. We're going to go over all, all 30 picks of the NBA draft. But before we get into the content, guys, please subscribe to my channel because it says that currently 81% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed. So if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. And now, enjoy. What's the number one pick in the 2020 NBA mock draft for me? I have the... Minnesota Timberwolves going with the Mellow Ball from the Hawks, I guess. Oh, the college, I guess. The Mellow Ball can fit well to me with the Timberwolves. People may disagree. They say Anthony Edwards is a better athlete, but the Mellow Ball can play the shooting guard or small forward position at the height of 6'7". And I'm pretty sure he'll fit in with Zero and Cat once they trade any of their players, which I doubt they will. But I think the mobile will fit, fit absolutely well. And now let's get to the second pick. What's the second pick in the 2020 NBA mock draft? I think the Golden State Warriors Tristel at James Wiseman from Memphis. From the Memphis Tigers, obviously, from the Memphis, Memphis University. James Wiseman, seven foot one, very tall, athletic center. He can help the Warriors with their center position. And the Warriors are also looking to get Dwight Howard from Marseille. So if they can get both of them, that'll be a huge win for them. And they can at least have a little bit of a chance. The third pick, I think, the Charlotte Hornets. Is should take the best one available, Anthony Edwards. On the time, I think that they need a shooting guard. Malik Monk is a little bit of a shooting guard. Devontae Graham is not really a shooting guard. So if you can get Edwards, I think that will fit your team well and your team well, unless they're going to trade the pick for someone like F, for someone like Andre Drummond, who rumors say they might. With the first pick in the 2020 NBA draft. Now, this can be a tough one because you never know who can take this person. But for me, the Cleveland Cavaliers should take Danny Abdija. And the reason why is because I think they just need to get their way in. They just can't have any bad situations, they can't have any terrible situations. That's my order for it. For the sixth pick, I think the that's why the Hawks should select the Devin Rosner. And the reason why I'm not going to any of the boys such as Cole and Anthony, because I think these people can fit well. Next up well, I'm not going to explain too much why. But well, coming in at number seven, I have the Detroit Pistons. Yes, the Detroit Pistons. So I think Cole, well, not Cole Anthony, Isaac Okoro, I do not know how to pronounce his name, but skipping his name pronunciation. But he is a great so I know he can help the Pistons after they lost Andre Drummond. I think he can help the Pistons with their floor spacing and how they're going to be playing themselves. Because obviously you got to roll them with him too. With the eighth pick, it's about time the New York Knicks get a okay point guard. Cole Anthony should fit in well with the Knicks unless the Knicks are just absolutely great at losing talent and just wasting people's talent. I want that to really what's happening. But the New York Knicks should have a great fit of having Cole Anthony on that team. But moving on, we have the ninth pick in the draft goes to the Washington Wizards. The Wizards and the Suns who has the tenth pick should both try to go after Patrick Williams and if the Wizards take him first, 
I think I should go after Kira Lewis, Kira Lewis Jr. Kira Lewis Jr. He is he is an okay solid player. Fits in with the team well, I think. If they're gonna try to go after CP3, most likely I think they should trade this pick to the OKC Thunder because of what's gonna be happening. So I think they should most likely trade the pick to the OKC Thunder because if they're trying to get obviously CP3. Coming the next pick. We have an interesting one also. This is going to be pretty cool to see what they're going to go with. But the San Antonio Spurs most likely should go in a certain direction. They should go in a certain direction and RJ Hampton should be selected by that time. If he doesn't, it's just going to go like how it is. With the 12th pick, this may be a little bit too early. We never know. But I think the Sacramento King should go after Josh Green. Now, some of these players, not many of you guys know. So, the 13th pick, I think the New Orleans Pelicans should select Jalen Smith. Jalen Smith is an okay player. I watched multiple of his highlights before. He, he can do a little bit of a great role on that team. So let me know what you think should happen with him. Isaiah Stewart should go number 14 to the Boston Celtic, which was originally Memphis's pick. But I think he should go there. And those are the first 14 lottery Protected picks. Now it's going to the other 16 picks selected. I'm just going to go over who I think they should go. Orlando Magic. Uh, there's not too many people you can really see. If I was them, I would just select who's the best on the board. Right now, I think Trey Jones would, would be a great fit on them. Because of the way Trey Jones can help a team play. Tyler Bay could go number 16 to the Portland Trail Boilers. I'm just thinking why this would happen. They may not draft these people. And the rest of them you guys can figure out. This is getting a bit long as people can expect. From the draft, figure out who you think should go. The draft is on Wednesday, November 17th. Hope you guys enjoy the draft. And hope you guys enjoy free agency. For more questions, go to my Twitter and also my Reddit, which I will be reviewing once we hit 1,000 people that have joined, 1,000 members. I will review the Reddit and Reddit posts once we hit 1,000 members. New merch dropped out. The winner, if you haven't seen, we have the Xbox giveaway winner. And that goes to King Jaden Nation. If if you are subscribed, my next Xbox or PS5 giveaway will start next month on December. But if you guys enjoy my content, subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out.